People sometimes ask me, how do you use music in your work as a music therapist and mental health provider? And the answer is that it varies. It varies depending on what the therapeutic need is in that moment, as well as by a person's willingness to engage with music. And in some cases, their abilities to engage with music. In general, however, the ways in which I use music fall under two categories, active and receptive. With active music, it may be obvious, but we're making music. Sometimes that may be you making music by yourself or us making music together. Sometimes this playing can be improvisatory in nature where we may set an intention or some general parameters around how we're going to play, but the what or the content of what's played is yet to be determined. And at other times, active music can involve playing a pre-composed familiar song on an instrument or learning how to sing or how to play an instrument. With receptive music, the means for engaging with music is through listening. One example of receptive music may be choosing and listening to songs that capture how you're feeling or what you're thinking or what you're experiencing in the present moment. This can serve as a space for us to then explore more in detail what your experience is. And sometimes it can be simply used as a form of validating your experience. Another way that recorded music may be used in a session is choosing and listening to songs that stimulate the re recollection of meaningful memories, such as in the case of Life Review. As well, choosing music and listening to music can be a way of managing feelings of anxiety, helping you to self-regulate, and these are skills that you need to have outside of the therapy session. And so we can begin practicing those skills within the therapy session. Regardless of the specific musical experience or activity used, however, the point, the goal of music is to help you to connect and discover aspects of yourself that you may not know exist or you may deny the existence of. By recognizing these aspects of yourself, you can begin to integrate them within your whole authentic being. By using music within this therapeutic context, you can better understand your thoughts, your feelings, and your behaviors so that you can make the changes needed or the changes you want to make in order to enhance your quality of life and mental well-being. In my next video, I'm going to talk more about how I work specifically as a music therapist and mental health provider. I'll illustrate some common issues that come up in my work and give examples of ways in which I use music to work on these issues. I hope you'll check it out.